farm fresh food readily available in New Orleans? Yes and no, it depends on where you live. I live in New Orleans East, an area called Food Swamp, which is known as a place that's just surrounded by endless fast food and doesn't have a source of healthy food. So there are many in our community who do live in food deserts. They live in areas where food access, where access to fresh food is not a thing. So part of the struggle is that there are significant gaps in people's experiences across the city and across neighborhoods. In life expectancy and in health and in diagnoses, there are these wide gaps. Why is it that I can find fresh food in my neighborhood, but other people can't? We realized that food access was a problem here and we needed to create access to fresh food to help improve our community. In 2010, GrowDat was an idea in our founder's mind. And at the time, she was affiliated with Tulane University. She presented the idea of an organization that would support young people becoming leaders and reconnecting with their food sources. So we started with three staff members and 15 participants around a garden box in Holly Grove. And at the time that we were piloting our program, this space was being created. Tulane University and City Park were instrumental in us securing our space here. City Park is a beautiful 1,300 acre city slash state park in New Orleans. And we're fortunate enough to have five acres of that land that we've been stewarding for the last 10 years. At GrowDat, young people get to come to a beautiful space on beautiful land with a very rich history to work together and through that work, analyze the problems that our society face to try to craft solutions to those. Food justice. It's essentially the idea that people don't have access to fresh, local, healthy, sustainably sourced food. What is important about food justice work is that it's actually coming from the community. Most of our food is sold through our Community Shared Agriculture, CSA program, and that's when people from uh, off the farm come to the farm on a Wednesday or a Saturday to pick up a box of fresh produce. It's not only nourishing for our bodies, but it's nourishing for our souls, too. GrowDat is really a project that centers around how young people learn about and participate in growing food but also how food is a component in our economy, in our cultural system, in our history. For me, young people come to GrowDat for work, but also for community and for developing a critical analysis around the systems that we have operated in to experience new things. It instills this concept of curiosity and openness before I worked here, I was just, you know, the regular old teenager. Liked to play basketball, we hung out with his friends, didn't eat that many vegetables, didn't have enough respect to love the land, or didn't care to hear why I should love the land. Coming to grow that emotionally, I was just like so closed off and like, you couldn't get me to talk about anything. And I feel like now I'm like more outspoken than I ever been in. Like, in terms of like the physical aspect, I was like, very like much larger than I am now. I learned how to pick healthy foods here. I learned how important it is to like eat right. Good job. Now you know how to do it. I've never worked for an organization where there's that much time and energy invested in community engagement. We're providing healthy, local, fresh vegetables, going to market, selling our produce. That's a way that we're revitalizing the community together. Young folks have beautiful perspectives on the world, and there is a passion and an energy there to change systems that they know are not working. Our schools are seeing young people who are more confident, who are more collaborative, and who are more passionate about learning in their traditional educational setting. Young people are bringing the food that they're trying back home, and so there's an opportunity to have the conversations about what they're learning. We are the largest farm in the city, and so we want to be able to leverage the food that we produce. And that food does not stay on the farm, that food goes into our communities and we support them to then address the causes behind food inaccess and food injustice and food deserts. 
These are our neighbors, these are our friends, these are our relatives. These are the people who we see every day and we need to be able to support each other. And that's what good neighbors do. Good neighbors feed their neighbors.